Alright, welcome class. Today we're going to be talking about differences of squares. Ugh, this is not a square, it's a triangle. You see this over there? That's a square. Technically two triangles. Two cars are traveling north along a highway. The first drives at 40 miles per hour, and the second, which leaves three hours later, travels at 60 miles per hour. How long after the second car leaves will it take the second car to catch up to the first car? Is it A or B? I need a poop! Can, uh, can I go to the restroom? Hmm. I don't know. Can you? Class. It's boring. I don't think there's anything on this planet more boring than having to sit down, shut up, and do nothing but watch the whiteboard. If you asked me, So Adam, if you had to choose between going a month without internet, or having to spend the entire time in jail to watch paint dry, or go to class, what would you do? I'd pick jail paint. I don't really have the attention span to just sit and listen to a teacher for hours at a time, so what I would do is whenever I get bored and anxious, I'd get up from my seat and ask to go to the bathroom. Now, don't get me wrong, education is super importante. That's important in Mexican. And I recommend everyone pays attention in class because the more knowledge you receive, the more creative you can be. So I would only do this if all the teacher was doing was talking and not actually giving us physical classwork. Mainly because, like, it's, it's boring. I can't learn that way. I need, I need work. So in order to get back into listening mode, I'd go to the bathroom to basically recharge my brain by either A, you know, actually going to the bathroom, or B, just like taking a breather and maybe play a game on my phone. I don't know. And it's not like we can go anywhere anyways because we had like these security security guards everywhere on the itty bitty golf carts and if you got caught by them detention for like two days i mean it's not much different than normal class you know mindlessly staring into the endless void we call the whiteboard white board 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 white <laughs> they know what they were doing now i mainly did the charging thing in only some of my classes just to be able to take a break and be able to learn properly but there was one specific class where i couldn't do that because its boring factor was of unimaginable heights. That class was Algebra 2. Mr. Blah Blah Blah's class. I freaking hate math. I can do it, but I hate it. Math itself isn't too boring if you are actually doing physical work and learning in the process, but my teacher didn't teach us like that. His method of teaching was to write down what he writes on the whiteboard, listen to him talk, and figure it out for yourselves if you couldn't keep up with his insanely fast writing skills. Didn't help either that he had like the most monotone voice in all of existence. <laughs> Jeez. So I got bored, and I'm pretty sure every now and then I just flat out died. Every time I had this class, the pain of just sitting and listening would kick in so hardcore that it got to the point where the last 30 minutes of class I'd ask to go to the bathroom and just wait. I'd wait for like 25 minutes and then go back and just let the teacher do their thing and assume I'm just constipated. <laughs> I want to note though that my classes were two hours long because my school did like a A and B day type of thing. So the last 30 minutes, we weren't even actually working. Just a lot of sitting and listening. This class got so uncontrollably boring that I ended up making a habit of this. <laughs> Literally every time I had the class, I stand up. Can I use the restroom? Of course, after like two weeks of doing this, my teacher started getting suspicious. So he would always follow up my question with his own question. <sighs> Do you really have to go? So to combat that, I look him dead in the eye and let him know. If you don't let me leave right now, the janitor is going to be writing his resignation early due to this job being, and I quote, too much. Gross. Go ahead. We were coming up on the third week of me doing one of the most generic ditches in all of history and Mr. Blah 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 is getting annoyed. He doesn't believe me that I'm using the bathroom. Like what the heck Mr. Blah Blah? How can we make this relationship work if there isn't any trust? He won't let me go. No. Adam, I'm sick and tired of you constantly leaving my class to use the restroom. You need to learn. Now sit. The only thing was that this time I actually had to go. I don't know what I ate that day, but my tummy was definitely having some rumblies. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more than positive we were gonna have a cleanup on aisle three if I didn't go. So, sir, if you don't let me leave right now, the janitor is He's gonna, gonna be- gonna be writing his resignation early and you're out of here. You need to sit down right now, young man. Please, l let me go, please. I, I, this will be the last time I go, I swear. I promise. <sighs> you promise? Yes, for the love of all humanity, just let me leave. Fine. 
Eric, I want you to go with him and make sure he gets to the bathroom. I really had to go. I'm pretty sure if the teacher told me no, I would have darted out anyways and just risked the suspension uh, because Jeebus had a good day for my insides. So as we were walking towards the bathroom, Eric asked me straight up, yo dude, you wait with me. You lying? I ain't no snitch, I just, I just wanna know. Eric then looks into my cold, dead eye as I kick open a stall and say, does this answer your question? We head back to class and Mr. Blah Blah asks Eric, So, oh, how was the restroom, you two? And Eric, with a horrified look on his face, said, Yo, he freaking destroyed that toilet, man. Eric then explained that I really wasn't lying and that there might be something actually wrong with my stomach. So Mr. Blah 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 looks at me and says, I'm sorry for doubting you, Mr. Adam. If you ever need to use the restroom again, you have permission to just leave quietly. I was then known as the toilet destroyer by that teacher ever since, <laughs> and I never came clean. Mr. Blah Blah Blah, if you ever see this, I'm sorry, but for the rest of the school year, I just left to go play on my phone or a 3DS or whatever. <laughs> I mean, at least I still gotta be in your class. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber now. Yay! <laughs> All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you had, like, you know, any similar stories. I really love reading your guys' stories. They're always fun uh, and entertaining whenever I'm bored. <laughs> also, don't, don't, don't skip class. If your stories are similar, just don't skip class because, you know, education's super important and, like, legit. I think, I think learning a lot, I, I regret not learning as much as I could because I feel like I could have been a way more creative person. So freaking get your education, kids. And adults. And teens. Yeah, everyone who's watching. <laughs> also, uh, I've been meaning to tell you guys something for a while. I've been hiding it for about, like, two months now, three months. I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll just finally open up and just let you guys know. I got a lizard. <laughs> His name's Doug and he's cute and adorable and he's somehow on Akinator. I don't know how. He just is. So, yeah. Alright, don't forget to like that smash button. Uh, eat more vegetables and stay hydrated.